It was a night of fear and chaos. Paris under siege as a group of young ISIL supporters, armed with guns and explosives, went on a killing spree across the city. Three attackers blew themselves up outside the Stade de France sports stadium. Others targeted cafes and restaurants, shooting people who'd been enjoying a Friday night out. At the Bataclan Music Hall, hundreds of music fans had been watching a concert when the gunman burst in. In just a few hours, 130 people had been killed, hundreds injured. The city and country plunged into shock. It's been one year since the attacks in Paris and security is still high, but otherwise the city is back to normal. The cafes, bars and restaurants are busy. People are out and about. Most Parisians say that to change their lifestyle would be to give in to fear. But for the survivors, moving on hasn't been so easy. I heard this big bomb. I saw people running. And uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't understand what's going on because this big, big boom, this big panic. Mohamed Amgar was working as a security guard at the Stade de France. He refused a young man entry. Minutes later, the man detonated his explosive vest, badly injuring Mohamed's arms and legs. First, I said blood in my jean, my, my, my pants and my, my black is outside. It, was, it wasn't my blood. It was the, the, the man who blew himself. I look at the sky and say, oh my God, I'm going to die. And I talked to, talk to, exactly, I talked to, to God. I look at, I remember I look at the sky and said, no, now, I have two, two beautiful daughters. I don't want them to grow without, without daddy. And you're here with the French Kaznav. interior minister. Yeah, exactly, interior minister, Mr. Kaznav. The, the French the... government honoured Mohammed for his bravery, but a year on, he still suffers from anxiety and has trouble sleeping. He says he can't understand what made such young men want to kill others. To, 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 to kill yourself, to, to blow you, yourself, it's against our religion, our, our, you know, it's against this. God don't want that, you know, to, 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 to kill on his name, or the name of Islam. I never say this in the Quran, I don't know. Maybe we don't read the same, the same book. If they read another book, I don't know. Maybe we don't, we don't read the same book, I don't think so. Because it's all about love, you know, to, to kill someone, to go to paradise. I don't think so, you're going to paradise. Mohammed will never forget yeah. what happened that night, but he hopes that one day he'll be able to move on. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, Paris.